Hi, this is attorney Jamie Miller and welcome to another Miller Minute. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this video so we can share some information that we have today about chapter 13 and how a chapter 13 bankruptcy can lower your car's interest rate. Many times we get clients that come in and they're struggling with their monthly car payment and they want to know what we can do to help them lower the, their car payment. And a lot of times we can do it in something called a chapter 13 that you may have heard of. A chapter 13 is a repayment plan where you repay your debts back over a period of time of up to five years. We do a chapter 13 in a situation where you might be behind on a car payment, you might be behind on a mortgage payment, you might be behind on utility bills. Um, you may not qualify for a chapter seven. In that case, a chapter 13 could be something that will work for you. And with so many of our clients facing such high interest rates and challenges making their car payment, we always talk to them about using a chapter 13 to lower car payments. And we've had people who've come in with car payments and seven, $800 a month, and we're able to lower the car payment to 250 or $300 a month. And many people wonder, how do we do that? And we do it through something called a cram down. So when you come to the firm, the, one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to take a look at your title. We're going to see when you took out the loan on your, on your car. If you took the loan out on your car more than 910 days ago or two and a half years, so 910 days and two and a half years is the same thing. So if you've had the car for more than 910 days, we're going to be able to just pay back the fair market value of the car. And that can result in significant, significant savings. Sometimes people have to go and buy cars and pay too much for a car. Car might be damaged. But let's say you have a 2015 Nissan Rogue, right? And car, you owe $20,000 on the car. Well, if you've had that car for 910 days and that car is worth less than the 20,000, you only have to pay back that fair market value of the car. So if you owe 20,000 on the car and the car is really only worth $7,000, you only have to pay back the fair market value of the car. And there's a lot of strategy that goes into this because let's say you come in our office and you've had the car for two years. Well, we're gonna wanna talk about when the best time is to file the car to save you file the bankruptcy to save as much as we can on your car and so how do we do it and the client said well how are you able to lower my car payment from six hundred dollars to two hundred fifty dollars well we do it twofold number one we cram down the car that's one of them but the other thing we can do is lower the interest rate on the car so many times our clients, because they're having financial challenges or don't have the best credit report, are forced to buy a car at very high interest rate. Many people buy a car at 19% uh, interest or even higher, I've seen it. But when we file the bankruptcy, we're able to lower the interest rate to the going interest rate. Uh, it fluctuates. Interest rates are a little bit higher right now or much higher right now. Um, so if you file bankruptcy now, we'll have to file under the current interest rates. But keep in mind that many lenders, hard money lenders, or lenders that take advantage of people when they file because their credit's not great, have really high interest rates. I've seen interest rates up into 30%, 24%. Let's do an example here where your interest rate is at 19%. So let's say you have a vehicle that you owe $20,000 on. We're not going to cram it down. We're just going to say you come in, cars owed $20,000 and you have a 19% interest rate on it and you're financing it for 48 months. Well, over that four year period at 20,000 at 19% interest, you're going to end up with a uh, uh, interest rate over that time period of $8,704. That that's, that's quite a bit of interest and a reflection of that high interest rate. Let's say we take that same car, we file the chapter 13, and we're able to lower the interest rate down to 4%. You're going to save $7,000 of interest because your interest payment over that four year period drops from $8,704 over that four years down to $1,676. 
So you can see when we're refinancing the car at the lower interest rate, you're paying so much less than you were paying before. And it's because sometimes we're able to cram down the car or we're able to lower the interest rate. And we're gonna talk about all of this and consult with you and make sure this is the best thing for you. But give us a call, 414-336-7569. Um, happy to talk about your specific situation, but as, as you know, every situation can be different. But I really appreciate you taking the time to join me for another Miller Minute. If you're still confused or you have some more questions, or you're overwhelmed with your debt, you wanna talk about your car, you want to talk about chapter seven or chapter 13, we're here to help. Give us a call at 414-336-7569. And I really appreciate you spending your time with me. Thank you.